As you know, we're off to Disneyland Paris really, really soon. So I thought it'd be really fun if I shared a bucket list of what we plan to do in the parks whilst there. Top of the list this time round is to ride Phantom Manor on that first day because that day is the last day that Phantom Manor will be open for a few weeks for a refurb. So I plan to ride that ride quite a few times on that first day and plus Air Twins love it. They call it the Skellington ride. So Phantom Manor, here we come. Ride Spider-Man Web Adventure for the first time in Adventures Campus. I'm personally really excited for this one and my younger twin is a huge Spider-Man fan and when we met him last year, it just blew her mind. So riding this ride is gonna be amazing. And let's see who wins. We already have four amazing restaurant reservations booked in and they are Bistro Chez Remy, Pim Kitchen, Manhattan restaurant and Billy Bob's and I would really love to try and get one more amazing meal booked in. If you have any suggestions where we could book for that fifth meal, drop them in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. I cannot wait to have a glass of champagne and sip on it on Main Street looking at the castle, hopefully with a parade going by at the same time which would be really lucky but that is something that is on the top of my bucket list. The 30th celebrations have been amazing and we personally love the 30th anniversary parade. So we're going to see that as many times as possible in loads of different locations. The main location that we loved last time and we'll definitely do this time is in the central hub just in front of Sleeping Beauty's castle as it gives you a great viewpoint of the four stages and we will be definitely singing along to the songs and having a brilliant time. Fingers crossed we get to catch the last showing of the Marvel Drone Show as it is the last day for the drone show on the day that we arrive. So fingers crossed we're lucky enough to go and see it before it ends as it looks so epic and we're huge Marvel fans so this will definitely be a treat for our first day. I can't wait to see the updated version of the Disney Delights drone show. We really enjoyed the drone show last year, so hoping this year will be just as epic. So it's the perfect end to your day to tie in all the 30th anniversary celebrations and just a great way to end your day. Because as we know, calories don't count in Disney, just because of the sheer amount of steps that you put in every day. So I am going to try a different snack each day and will not be sharing those with my girls. <laughs> Meeting a character at Disneyland Paris is just a highlight for me and my family. We absolutely love interacting with characters. We're 100% definitely want to meet Mickey Mouse. Obviously, we have to meet the main mouse in a Disney park. Goofy last year was amazing, so hopefully we get to see Goofy. And then loads of other characters that we also didn't get to meet. So Captain Hook and Smee would be a really fantastic interaction. The Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland is also in a boat, so hopefully we also get to see her. And then obviously Stitch, Woody, Jesse as many superheroes as possible would be amazing. Meeting characters for us is just a massive part of being on a Disney holiday, so we're gonna get it done. Also tying in with meeting characters in Marvel Campus, there is also now the option to do the 180 degree photo with a superhero. So we definitely want to try that experience as it just adds a new element and a new level of epicness to your photos with a superhero. I love seeing the live shows at Disneyland Paris and our two main favourite ones are Mickey and the Magician and Rhythm of the Pride Lands or The Lion King Show. So those are definitely ones that we are going to queue quite early to go and see so we get really good spots while we're in there. There's nothing like seeing a live show and there's nothing like seeing a live show at Disney. So they are making it onto our bucket list. A final thing that I'd like to add to our bucket list is to ride the Disneyland train around the whole perimeter of the main Disney park. This is such a lovely thing to do as a family. So you get to sit down and take the weight off your feet and relax and just watch the world go by as you're going around the Disney park. There's nothing better. I think I have quite a bit added to my bucket list, which we have planned to do this time really, really soon. And if you're going to Disneyland Paris soon and have other things added to your to-do list or really want to do while you're there, please let me know in the comments below as I'd love to hear them and then we'll try and add them to our bucket list as well. As always, I hope you found this video useful. Please consider subscribing and I'll see you again soon.